Hey guys, so how's it going? Today I want to give you guys a breakdown of my car and all the parts and everything I've got installed. And as you can see, I have four war map sensor from 271 is right over there. Uh, two, uh, PRL flex fuel kit, uh, 271 inlet pipe, uh, 271 WD1 upgraded turbo, uh, PRL cooler intake, uh, PRL dung pipe, front pipe, intercooler, PRL. And, you know, just give you guys a little breakdown on uh, any problems I've had with the car, uh, what uh, power I'm making, you know, everything. And you can also see I have the 271 Big 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 Brake Kit there. And I uh, just want to talk about, you know, the tune, everything. You guys have seen me doing many, many races and stuff. So I've got a lot of questions about uh, all these uh, things. And unfortunately, my Instagram account got deleted. Um, I used to receive a lot of questions and I'm always happy, you know, to answer questions and um, Today I'll answer everything. I'm hoping that this video will cover everything because the car is full bolt-on I do uh, run flex fuel only when I'm racing and So far I haven't had any major issue with the car. The only one problem I had with this car Was uh, the fuel trim was off, but that was easily fixed by uh, you know cleaning the map sensor and um, also, I got the car wrapped in a uh, fiery red dragon here. I think it looks so sick. Like, oh my goodness, this is a this is a 1.5 uh, Civic. Yeah, I've invested a lot in it, and um, I really love how this car look. Uh, turn next all the time, you know, on the road, and I get a lot of compliments from um, you know everyone around me. Um, spend a lot of time at uh, you know with the guys at uh, Unity Performance. And um, let's get into the um, tune, guys. So um, I've actually run a three custom tune, one from Derek Robinson, one from John from Fairball, and uh, one from Raveda Brazil. Now you probably ask why why did I run you know three different goddamn tune? You know what I mean? But um, the first tune I went with was with uh, Derek Robinson and. Um, uh, he tuned the car to 27 psi it was making a lot of power i was happy with it for a while but then um i wanted uh pops and bangs and burbles and unfortunately Derek robinson doesn't like that stuff at all he said he would uh not do it and um that's is why i went with um that's my boy andrew right there number one guy in uh canada to work on all your honda stuff yeah anyway um so Derek doesn't do barbell tune or, what, or whatnot. So that's why I went with uh, John from Fairboil to get the barbell tune and whatnot. And after a time, fortunately, I didn't like how it sounded. And um, I also wanted to make more power. And barbell tune was not going to do anything good for performance. So anyway, I only run it for maybe like three days and I took it out. And um, I wanted more power. I wanted more boost. And... Um, the Derek and um, you know the other guys they they were reliable and safe, but they didn't want to push the car more than um, what it was already uh, pushing. So that's when I went to uh, Revita Brazil, and I told him, listen, I want to push this car to the limit, like over the limit. It's already at the limit. I want to push it to the limit. I know people were saying the transmission is gonna go, but guys, I'm telling you, I haven't had any transmission problem. I know the CVT is a weak point of this car. And I'm okay with it. If it, if it breaks, then it breaks. And um, this is why I went with Revita Brazil. He uh, he said, okay, I'll I'll give you two more PSI and a little more power. Um, two, S, two more PSI is a lot more power. Like, you know, I guess he did some time in two. And I was making 29 PSI. Car was uh, the front wheel, you know, spinning as, spinning as hell. I uh, got some, you know, sticky tire, but it was still spinning forward wheel uh, drive car you can't really do much about it but um on 29 psi i've been running a 29 psi tune for about you know about seven months really and i haven't had no transmission problem now the only uh transmission problem i would say i'm not sure if it's transmission problem that i've had with the car was um sometimes when you uh floor it especially from a dig uh, sometimes it it will bounce off the rev limiter. The RPM will bounce off the rev limiter, and I personally think 
that happens because the car is not fully warmed up because every time it happened with me it's always like when the car wasn't fully warm fully warmed up and actually that was stupid of me so guys uh when you are gonna floor your car especially in racing make sure the car reach optimal operating temperature because that i think that that's a huge thing that especially here in canada like it's so cold and you know like when i went to do the rate one races uh the other day um against the type s before the type s race i raised the bmw and i i did well against the bmw and it was all wheel drive and i did really well against it but my car was fully warmed up it didn't hit the rev limiter at all so on um on um, what was i saying on the when i raised the type s it hit the rev limiter but that was because the car i we parked the car for about maybe half hour and it was cold it was like maybe 12 degrees celsius and uh when i park it for half hour obviously uh because it was a little chilly um the oil temperature you know probably went down and i uh didn't rerun it or anything like that but when i raised the type s I noticed it hit the rev limiter so i'm just assuming that's because uh the it didn't reach optimal operating temperature i don't know if that's the case but other than that it's the car hasn't given me any major issue and this only this rarely happens by the way it rarely is. so i'm gonna say um if you want to go aggressive with the car you want to push it i would say go rev it up with brazil most reliable in my opinion, Derek Robinson, you're still going to make power, but most reliable. And John is right there. He's in between. He's reliable and he also push it. Now, um, one thing I'm, I am going to mention about Derek Robinson too, and is I noticed that on um, on like low speed, like maybe uh, 20 to 50 kilometers, his tune, it's kind of jerky. Whereas Revita Brazil and John tune are very smooth, like, you know, it's very smooth uh, compared to him, but not saying that, uh, you know, his tune is bad. I would 100% recommend Derek Robinson tune to most people. If you just want a daily and you're going to do, you know, a one-two pull, then Derek Robinson is for you and John too. But if you want to push the car, you're going to do a lot of races. I'm going to say go with Revit of Brazil. That is if you want to push the car and you're willing to take the risk and yeah that's it guys that's that's all about it really like um you know oh i should mention my suspension um mods too it's an ibac pro lawrence yeah ibac ibac sportline pro something like that and um i also have a, a white line uh sway bar and I think that's everything I have. Yeah, that's everything I have for suspension. I do have a, a Voltronic Catback exhaust. And um, also, I want to talk about uh, a trick, really, um, that I've discovered doing all these races to make your CVT a bit faster. Not doing the fake shift. Because, guys, believe me, sound, sound can be deceiving. When you hear the fake shift, you think the car is going faster because, you know, it's shifting faster. So you think the car is going faster. But that's not true based upon my draggy um i was just browsing around this on google and i came across a civic x uh forum where uh one guy i think his name is max or maxel or something like that and he was talking about how you know the fake shift kind of make your car slower too and i was like you know i tried this I, I i timed it with my draggy and it's true it does make the car um uh, when, when it fake shift it does make the car uh lose boost i've seen this on my draggy so you know when it dropped the rpm you, you have to build back boost again so anyway sometimes what will happen it will fake shift and then other times it doesn't fake shift the cvt is unpredictable and uh, most of the time it does fake shift unfortunately but um i have actually uh tried uh maxwell uh two step he calls it i think where you lift your feet off the throttle for a tiny bit and you press it quickly again. I tried it and unfortunately it didn't work for me. It actually made my car slower because I, as soon as you lift off the, the gas pedal, of course, you know, you're closing the throttle, right? A bit. So anyway, it didn't work for me. I'm not saying it doesn't work. I just couldn't get it to work for me. I'm sure he know how to do it and uh, he got it to work. But anyway, um, what I found is if you 
go uh if you press your throttle to uh 85 to 90 percent uh, tps okay guys i'm talking about tps not tpc that is very easily to get confused with those two so what you want to do if you have a k tuner v2 or a k tuner uh one and uh, you know you, you have to do this live so connect it especially with a v2 it will be much easier connect your k tuner uh v2 and um, put your car on in accessory mode not the engine on and press press your uh throttle and look at the tps on the k tuner look at the percentage press it all the way you know put like a little object behind behind the gas pedal like something to block it at 90 percent it should not go more than 90 percent within 85 to 90 percent that's the range where you want to be and when you do that i notice the car doesn't fake shift it doesn't sometimes it would but rarely it will rarely fake shift so you know put like a, i put personally i put a little a little piece of wood and i put a double-sided tape on it and then i press it down with my feet and um i look i look at it you know i look at the uh, k tuner to see where the percentage of the tps is i stopped it the first time i did it i think it i think i did it a little too much but yeah guys try this try this i'm actually gonna make a little video another little video and post post it and how to do that i i have already made a video but i think i haven't posted it as yet but yeah this uh this trick guys it actually work it does work on my draggy it worked because it keep the rpm all the way to the highest you know where it can go safely and you know the rpm stays within like 6000 to 6300 rpm range without changing any gears and you're keeping the boost if you're if you're making 27 psi at uh at 6000 rpm it's not going to drop back to like 5000 rpm and then build back boost you know so try this and um yeah that's that's the trick really guys and that's all i have to say about it